Hi there, this is Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team and I have a fun card tutorial to share with you. I'll also be showing you the new Sophisticut machine. So here's my card and let's begin. Here's the brand new Sophisticut die cutting machine and it's perfect for the originals dies that measure about two and a half by six. It comes with the machine, um, a little screwdriver so that you can put in the handle, a little decorative key that you can hang, and then two cutting plates for your originals dies. So all you have to do is prop it up. It's super lightweight. I use my Tim Holtz Vagabond and it's very heavy. This is a super lightweight. You push the sides in and you pop down just like that and just like you would in any other die you put your paper face down on your originals dies with your two cutting pads and then you crank you get a beautiful cut every time and this was a thicker glitter cardstock. So how pretty is that? So again, if you want to use it to cut, you have your cutting plate, your die, your cardstock or pattern paper or whatever you are cutting face down, another cutting pad right on top. You hold it down. There you go, another perfectly cut die cut. So that is the Sophisticut and I am going to start my tutorial. So to create this fun border, I use the Tim Holtz Lattice Originals die and I die cut my two pattern papers using my Sophisticut and all I'm going to do is layer them and stagger them so that it creates a really fun pattern. And I'm going to use this little mini dots adhesive because it works perfectly for these die cuts. And you just want to stagger it so that it's layered on top like that. And now you can cut that excess. Now we can stamp our images for this summer card. I'm using stays on ink because I like to use my watercolors, but you can use any ink. So if you're using Copics, you can use Memento or palette. Just inking up my images and then I'm going to stamp them on top of that latticed die. And then for my other stamped images, I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which is happy summer on this bit of cardstock and I want it to sort of drop down like a tablecloth or a napkin. So I'm going to stamp it like this so that it's a triangle. And the stamps that I'm using are Clark's ABCs and Happy Summer from Lawn Fawn. And then I'm just going to take this look a little bit further and create little stitching lines. And now it's ready to be colored. So to color my image, I'm going to use my Art Grip Aquabrow watercolor pencils. I just like the look that these get when you add the water. That has minimal drying time because we just use a little bit of water. And now you can adhere your top half. That looks like a little napkin.
So here's the card completed. I just added a black button with a matching enamel dot in the center. I matted it on an A2 pink card base or card front and then adhered it to a white A2 card base. There you go. Again, this was Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team sharing with you a happy summer card. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.